Welcome Leo to your January 2020 reading. We have the same layout as I've been using for a few months now. So we've got one deck taking us through the month and then we have the second deck which is the overlay and it gives more detail for each of the weeks. Now there is something I've added to this. I don't know if any of you have seen your January, uh, sorry, your yearly um, 2020 reading but this is your January card from that reading. And for you, Leo, it's the sun. So I wanted to include that there. So let's see what else you've got. You've got the page of wands uh, with the eight of cups, the ace of cups with the empress, the three of wands with the wheel of fortune and the two of cups with the high priestess. Uh, I think I want to start here. This is just, you've got such lovely energies. Now, this one has come up for so many signs. It's almost like I couldn't stop it coming up. So you've got it as well. But the sun, oh, this is happiness personified, joy, elation, good luck, good fortune. Um, it's optimism and hope. It's where you just feel on cloud nine, Leo. So I think many of you are going to love January. It's such a wonderful start to the year. Um, it can represent the thing in the in the card, like the pictures. So we've got the sun representing travel. So for some of you, it might be traveling. Then we've got the children and babies, and then the horse for the animals. So there may be some sort of links and connections there for some of you. Whatever that is, it will be a happy time and a joyful time and an uplifting time. Right, we've got the Page of Wands. Pages are like trigger points for change, but I, you know, really, I look at these cards, I think you'll know what this is about. This is signaling the beginning of something for you, Leo. You, I think you know what it is. You've got the Ace of Cups. It's something you've already been thinking about or working towards. And this is just saying, yeah, you're bang on track. Now, you might be getting some news regarding this um, that can signify some sort of news coming in, something that makes you uplifted and excited and positive and like, yes, yes, yes. Um, it allows you, Leo, to say goodbye to some things that you were kind of done with, that weren't working for you anymore. Could be people, places, situations, you know, all sorts of different things, lifestyle choices, but you were done with it. This person has their back to us, meaning they're walking away, but they're walking into a brighter future, a brand new day, um, you know, something that's gonna be more positive, more uplifting, and just, yeah, absolutely better for you. And with the cups, you're going to feel so much better. Um, you've also got the similar energy with this, the Ace of Cups, because this is new starts, new beginnings. But with the cup, this is about emotions and feelings. This is almost like a rebirth. You know, that's what I feel for you so strongly in January, Leo, that Everything that's transpiring and the change that you're going through and this opportunity that's unfolding for you, it's allowing you the chance to have an emotional rebirth, you know, like change in a real significant way. One where you feel just better. You feel like more like yourself, Leo. You feel more uplifted, more aligned, more together, What you know, whatever it is. This is so, so powerful. Um, yeah, this is meant to be as well. You've got some fate and destiny around this as well. You've got fate and destiny here. So this new start, this new chapter opening for you is meant to be. It feels like the right time, the right place. Um, this is paired with the Empress, the Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh, they, they are so powerful. You know, these two energies are you at your absolute best. That's you in your flow, um, connected, aligned, um, 
sure of yourself, confident, um, know who you are, not afraid of anything, no, do no doubts, no fears, no, you know, just absolutely in your space, in your light, in your magnificence. So this is just absolutely beautiful. She connects wonderfully with intuition and spirit and one consciousness, as does this. So I think um, some of you might be having some, you know, really inspirational moments, maybe some downloads as well. She's very connected to the law of attraction and abundance and fertility. So there may be some, some links there for some of you. Um, but oh my gosh, she's in, she's just lovely. She's in just such a lovely place. That's what I'm picking up for, for you, for many of you. This says you're on track. You're, you're, uh, we've said it already. You're absolutely on track. Something you've started, Leo, is starting to sprout and you're getting excited about it. You're thinking about it and you're like, oh my gosh, yes, if it really happens, if it really comes to fruition, it's going to be amazing. It's, you know, it's absolutely spot on. You've planted these rods, they're starting to sprout, they're taking root, and there you are looking forward at all the possibilities and all the potential. It has a lot of possibilities and potential, I must say, because it's paired with this. This is the wheel of fortune. This is good luck, good fortune, success. Um, Things turning around for you, Leo. Finally, if you felt that it's been a struggle now, the tables begin to turn in your favour. Um, yeah, lovely uh, link with money and prosperity and wealth as well. So that's really good. And lovely, I mean, you've just got some really nice energies here, Leo. This could mean a choice or a decision you're having, or it could be you and uh, your relationship with someone else. So this can be like a meeting of minds, a coming together. If there's been any difficulties any re in, in any relationships, it means that there could be a reconciliation. You seeing eye to eye, um, and, and sort of coming together again. So this is lovely energy for decisions, but also for, um, for yeah, for relationships, really. It just feels like um, you kind of coming back to, well, going to a different level even. That's what it feels like, especially if I look at some of the other energies, taking a relationship to a different level. But you know, for some of you, Leo, it is linked to the relationship with yourself because we've got it paired with the high priestess. Meaning, because of all of this that's happening, that you're on track, you're starting to get excited about saying goodbye to something and a hello to something else, that you are starting to get yourself back here and you come back to yourself in a really incredible, wonderful way. Um, because this is connecting inward, uh, your heart and soul. Now, just a cup. Now, just one more thing I think I want to bring in, and this really just sums it up. This is something that my angels and guides wanted to uh, end on. It's about rebirth. The whole of January is about you trusting and believing in this emotional rebirth. Um, it's almost like you are being reborn. This opportunity that is coming through is going to allow you to say goodbye to things that you were done with and almost like be the person you always wanted to be. It's getting you closer and closer and closer to that point, Leo. I hope it's a really good month. Thank you so much for watching.